Hi, hello guys, welcome to IS Expert YouTube channel. Today we will know what is immune imprinting. Before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for latest UPSC videos. So, what is immune imprinting? Immune imprinting refers to a process by which immune system learns to recognize and respond to specific pathogens early in the life. This process is thought to occur as a result of exposure to microbes in environment during a critical period of development. The concept of immune imprinting was first proposed in late 1990 when it was first observed that newborns and infants exposed to certain pathogens such as bacteria and virus had heightened immune response to those pathogens later in the life. This led researchers to hypothesize that the immune system remembers these early exposures and is better able to mount a defense against them in the future. The immune imprinting is a tendency of the body to repeat its immune response based on first variant it encountered through infection or vaccination. When it comes to Across a new or slight different variant of same pathogen, imprinting acts as database for immune system, helping it put up a better response to repeat infections. After the body is exposed to a virus for first time, it produces memory B cells that circulate in the bloodstream and quickly produce antibodies whenever the same strain of virus infects again. The problem occurs when a similar, not identical variant of virus is encountered by body. For example, X person is infected by X bacteria or X virus at the age of 6. Then after few years at the age of 9, the same person is infected by X bacteria or X virus will get good immune response or good protection by body because the antibodies which is produced at the age of 6 remembers the pathogens like bacteria and virus and they immediately produce B cells which acts on this X bacteria and X virus at the age of 9. Because during first infection, it takes time to learn how to bind or engulf the pathogens by immune system. So, antibodies take a time during first infection but when same pathogen is infected after some time or some years the Im our immune system remembers the pathogen and its process to attack the pathogens and they produce memory B cells in first infection they will produce only new B cells but in second infection, they will produce memory B cells, which are good in same strain virus, back, virus and bacteria. But they are not effective if same bacteria but with different variant. For example, COVID-19 antibodies doesn't act effectively at the rate of Omicron variant because there is a difference in strains. In such cases, the immune system rather than generating a B cells activates memory B cells which produce cross reactive antibodies that bind to future spawn in both old and new strains. As we stated in previous slide, if X bacteria 
is infected in early stage early stage the antibody produced that is new b cells will be remembered and when infection occurs after few years with same strain the body will produce memory b cells which are effective against same strain bacteria but if there is a change in strain the b memory b cells are not effective because there is a change in rna or dna maybe there there are same species but there are changing strains so memory b cells doesn't act effective against different strains of same species this cross reactive antibodies offer some protection but not as effective as one produced by b cells when the body first encountered the original virus immune imprinting is also thought to be double edged sword as it could also increase the risk of certain diseases in certain individuals for example exposure to certain viruses in early life may increase the risk of autoimmune diseases later in life there are some risk associated with immune imprinting because if child is infected by virus during development they may face future problems like speech impairment stunted growth mental disability etc why news two papers published in new england journal of medicine pointed out those bivalent boosters made to counter both omicron strains and original covid-19 strains don't generate significant greater antibody response than additional dose of original mrna vaccines because omicron strains and original covid-19 strain are both are different as we stated in previous slide the our memory b cells during secondary infection acts only on same strain virus effectively but when there is a change in strain they are less effective that's why researchers recommend vaccination of original mrna vaccines if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for latest upsc videos thank you